Hi again, this is Lindsay from Equip Me OT. I'm here today to talk about getting around in bed after a hip replacement. So if you're experiencing the preparations for a hip replacement, you've probably heard about all of the things you cannot do following a hip replacement surgery, including bending greater than 90 degrees, crossing your legs, or twisting and pivoting the, the surgical leg. So I'm just gonna go over how those restrictions are going to affect the way you move around in bed. As be, at the early phases of the hip replacement recovery, you're gonna spend a lot of time laying down, stretching out in bed. So I just wanna make sure that you feel comfortable with that before you go through with your surgery. So I wanna show you a few pieces of equipment that you need to have close to you during your uh, recovery and if you're in bed. First of all, being a good walker. I highly recommend having a standard walker like this versus the four wheeled variety or even the no wheel variety. This has one set of wheels in the front. It's not a pivoting wheel. It's gonna be the safest option for the early recovery phase of your hip replacement. So I've got mine close to bed as I need it. I've also got a leg lifter. Now this is a wonderful tool following hip replacement. It's also great following a knee replacement or really any other uh, lower extremity injury that weakens your ability to lift your leg on your own. Now, if you don't have something like this, you can kind of create your own using, this is a gait belt, so you may be getting one of these following your surgery if you need it. You can create some form of a leg lifter using a gait belt or even just a regular belt that you can create a static loop at the end of it to go over your foot. This isn't the best option, but it is absolutely an alternative if you don't have the leg lifter available. I also have an extra pillow. So in addition to the pillows you would normally sleep with in bed, you're going to want to have an extra pillow available if you're somebody especially who likes to roll onto your side while you rest. The pillow is going to be really important for that and I'll show you why in just a second. So I marked my operative leg in this situation. I'm gonna say I had my left hip replaced and that's why it's marked with the orange tape. If I had had my right hip replaced, I'd be on the other side of the bed. You always want to position with your operative leg towards the edge of the bed because it's the one that's going to get out first. So that's very important. You might have to switch sides following your hip replacement surgery. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into bed. So if you're sitting at the edge of the bed like I am, we're going to make sure that our operative leg is extended. So you're going to see that I've got my heel on the floor. I want to make sure that that leg is extended and that I'm maintaining 90 degrees or greater of uh, movement here at the hip. So right here I'm good. If you have the leg lifter at this point, you can go about looping it around your foot. This is if you're alone, especially alone. If you don't have a caregiver who can help lift your leg into bed those first few days, this is an absolute godsend. So we're going to make a slow movement towards the back, towards the bed, and I'm going to keep my body leaning back. Get your non-operative leg up into bed, and then we're gonna move and pull. See how I'm staying nice? And now we're laying down, okay? We can reposition a little bit with the leg lifter and take it off. If I'm somebody who wants to lay on my side, you're gonna to wanna to lay on your non-operative side. That's where this extra pillow is going to come in. Place the pillow between your legs and that's gonna prevent you from accidentally crossing your, non -op or your operative leg over top of your good leg. So if that happens, that's a really common way we see hip dislocations following surgery. So I'm gonna put my pillow between my knees. I don't want a really fat pillow. This is kind of a flatter one, but it gives me just enough cushion between my legs to feel comfortable without running the risk of my legs crossing. So if I wanted to roll over, I could use my leg lifter again here, grab my foot, and keep the pillow pinched, and we're gonna roll over here like this. So now I've got my legs, one on top of the other, operative leg up, and if this is a comfortable position for me to sleep in or rest in for a little while, I can do so safely without the risk of my legs crossing. All right, I'm using my leg lifter here again. I'm gonna go back to my back. All right, take this guy out. Now we're gonna go about getting out of bed. So it's basically the reverse of getting into bed. We're gonna use the leg lifter here and I'm gonna stay pretty reclined throughout this process. So that's where the leg lifter has a benefit over using just a gait belt or another belt, because you'll see this is a little challenging to fish over your foot. I'll show you. You gotta kinda get it down there. 
may take a kind of take some core strength. If you're a little weaker, you can use your non-operative leg to kind of get it over the toe. So you can get it over there, but that was a much more laboring process than just using the leg lifter. So I'm going to go back to this guy here. And it has a loop at the end so you can put your wrist through it, which is great if you have some weakness in your hands. So we're going to kind of move that leg. Notice I'm still reclined. I'm boosted up on my elbow here. And we're going to keep moving that. Now we're going to use our non-operative leg to kind of scoot our butt over to the edge of the bed. We're going to drop this leg down very carefully, keeping it extended. And we're going to pivot around. Now obviously I didn't just have my hip replaced, so I move a little easier than you may after your hip replacement surgery. But the idea is the same. You're going to move slowly. You're going to focus on keeping a nice straight line here. No bending beyond 90. At this point, you're going to want to have your walker nearby. And this one here. Having it in front of you there so that you're ready to stand up. I'm still reclined a bit here. I'm going to have my strong leg here underneath me, right at the edge. I'm going to, I'm not going to lean forward, but when I go to stand up, I want to have one hand back here to push. I'm not going to try to pull on the walker because it's going to come with me. We're going to push through the bed and we're going to stand up. And that is the safe way to get in and out of bed and roll to your side following your hip replacement surgery. So if you got some value out of this video, please consider giving me a thumbs up and leave your comments or questions down below. And as always, consider subscribing to Equip Me OT. Thank you.